still clean. It won't be if he takes any longer and I have to keep pissing every ten minutes. Where the fuck is he? I could never be with someone who's always late. He'd have to work on that. It was exciting to start with. I was, I was like a little boy in a candy store, taking as much as I could and stuffing my face with all the different tastes. But now, now it all just tastes a little sour. The men on this app are all the same. All one big entity of sterile and futile encounters. This one used to have substance. He used to amuse me, and for a fleeting moment I thought that an older guy may have been the answer to my lonely nights in front of Netflix. Have you, are you pissed, pissed off at me because I didn't meet up with you the other night because I cancelled? Are you arsey? You seem a bit arsey. So much so that I didn't get any arse action from you last night. The reason why I didn't meet up with you is because I got hit up by this guy with the most enormous dick you've ever seen in your life. Look, have a look at that. Oh, have a look at that dick. You're a sad man. Just because you've recently split from a long relationship and suddenly discovered the shallow and fickle world of grinding. You now truly believe this is all there is to life. Big dicks and accumulating another notch on the post. You're dying inside. Slowly and surely I am witnessing the intelligence you once bestowed diminishing and transmogrifying into a filthy, murky puddle of libidinous lust, reckless abandonment and, and perpetual debauchery. I'm a clean man, I aim to please, and who knows, someday someone might see that. In the meantime, I'll just become embroiled within this fast food culture again. It's obviously going nowhere with Dan. Nah, don't bother showing a picture of your face, seeing as Dick is the new face these days. Let's just agree to meet on the size of your penis, shall we? NSA. Well, I don't think anyone will want any strings attached to you with an arse that looks more red than a baboon's. Next. What stupid fucker would want a complete stranger to walk into their house whilst you're blindfolded, waiting to be bashed over the head with a fucking baseball bat? Spit in my mouth. Have you ever heard of fucking TB? Wait a minute, I've, I've seen this guy somewhere. Someone, oh my, oh my God, it's Dan's big dick friend. The one who was so amazing, he blew me out for him. This could be interesting. <laughs> Fuck it. I can also be shallow and all about the dick.
Okay, you narcissistic big dick freak. Let's see what all the fuss was about. Do I think Dan would be jealous? Who gives a fuck? He had his chance of something with a bit more depth. Now it's all just skin deep. If you can't beat them, join them. And other cliches. I'm just going to say what I'm thinking in my head. Me too. I never believed in love at first sight until now. Oh, you read my mind, big dick. Aesthetically, you are everything I look for in a man, but, but the fact that you can read my mind too just tops it off. I know, right? I have been using my dick as a baiting tool for far too long. And now, I finally get to use my mind and my brain. It was lovely spending the evening with you. I hope you don't mind that we didn't have sex straight away. I want to wait a bit longer so that it's, it's even more special. I was thinking the exact same thing. I'm not desperate to see how big your dick is, Matt. I am not like all the other grinders that you've become so accustomed to. I'm so sorry. Big Dick doesn't mean anything to me. You don't have to hook up with him just to spite me. I've learned my lesson. I only went through 48 plus men to find you, but there you were all the while, hiding amidst an array of dicks that swam around and around aimlessly in the murky shallow waters not once coming up for air to see if there was anyone out there. I can breathe now, thanks to meeting you. Even though we met each other on this app, I think it's time we deleted it together once and for all. I was trying to be aloof because because, the, because that seems to be the games that men play with each other. Act like you're not overly keen and then they come running to you. I love you, Darren. <laughs> <laughs>